Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to do a method of masking now without using masks as much, which simulate masks and can give you more flexibility, including using other effects, adjustments and so on, on effectively that mask layer. So to illustrate this, let's just go File, New, just take something there. And I'm going to go to Document and Transparent Background so you can see where we're poking holes through things. Then I'll get a paintbrush and we'll pick a colour like red. And you want to paint on here, so actually we need to put a pixel layer in, don't we? So then we get the paintbrush. And we are on red. Yes, OK, the opacity is a bit low. Let's turn that up. There we go. That'll do. Right, so now I can just paint on here. So you can see what we've got. So this just gives us sort of a, a layer of paint, if you like, with which to work. And now, if I want to poke a hole in that, then I can use a mask. So if I click on the standard mask layer here, or even if I right click and just go mask, that puts a mask on here. It's white initially, so it has no apparent effect. But I want to paint on that in black. So I go to my brush here and go to black here and I can now paint her on here and I poke a hole in it so you can see through but also means that people poke a hole in adjustments and so on. So what do we want to do the other way that I want to select it in a different way so I want to where I paint it to appear well then I just simply go right click here go to empty mask which just puts up a black mask and now if I paint on it, I've got to paint it white here. Then now I paint through and I get a piece of this. And if I, I can go over that area there, you can see where there's an overlap. So we get that kind of dual effect. OK, let's turn those off and do those using different shapes. In fact, I'm going to use a pixel layer. So now I'm just going to go to a pixel layer now. And just put to do that, I'm just going to call this layer background. So you can see this is the original layer here. So I'm going to put in a pixel layer here. And then I'm going to go to my paintbrush. And I can paint in any colour because effectively what I'm painting in is in opacity here. So I can perhaps, you know, I can just reduce the hardness to make a softer brush. And I'll just do it down in this area here. So I poke a hole here, or actually I'm just painting on here. Because it's a layer on top, then this is what happens. But what happens if I drag this down here on top of the icon, the, the red bit there, then what I'm getting is the same effect as I got with a black mask and painting white. So it's exactly the same effect, but with a pixel layer instead of a mask. And with this pixel layer, I can do other things to it. I can do to any pixel layer. I can play with you know various opacities and add adjustments and filters, etc. So I'll turn that off for a moment. But what about this original one here where I've got poking a hole through that layer and I've got a black on white mask? Well, the way to do that, you can also do with the pixel layer, is I put a pixel layer up here, I add a pixel layer, and I'm going to paint on that. So I've got my brush here, so I'll just paint it in blue if you like. Doesn't matter, whatever colour it is. So this is up here. But now what I do, rather than going down onto the icon here, which get the same effect as before, I drag it onto the name. And now it's in the clipping position. So it looks like it was just the same as it was when it was above the background layer. But also notice here, there's this little thin grey line here. It's below that line. You can actually drag down to the bottom to below that line. It's a bit fiddly, but you can do it. But I want to use this to poke a hole in this. So what I do, I go to the blend modes, go down to the bottom and hit erase. And now I've poked a hole in it. I can do the similar things. I can use shapes, for example. So I'll go to the shape here. I'll go to an ellipse. And I'm going to draw an ellipse on here. And it's uh, actually arrived there in, in that position. It could be, you know, if I put it above, then it would be up there. But I'm going to bring, again, drag it down to the name. And it drops down here. And I change that to a raise. And then you've got the ellipse poking a hole through this acting in the same way as we did with the black on white mask. So we can simulate that effect 
with shapes. Pixel A is now anything that we do like that. So what else can we do now? Let's go back to the original picture, just to an example. So let's say I want to darken the sky. So what I can do is I can go to the ellipse tool here or the, the shape tool and draw a rectangle on here like that. And so that's the ear I'm going to cover. Turn that off for the moment because I'm going to put on a curves layer just going above that and I just pull it down to darken the sky. There we go. But then I'm going to use this rectangle which I put in the shape of the sky and I'm going to drag this on top of here, on top of the icon there. So this then becomes the enabling mask for that. So I've now darkened the sky. I've got a slight problem here. I'm going to just take this as it comes. So I've got a little bit of a line here, but that's not a problem because there's a hard edge on the shape. I could have done it by painting, by the way. And if I'm going to do that, I'm going to go to the rectangle here, go to the FX here, FX layer effects. Then I'm going to go to the Gaussian blur, click on that and the checkbox and turn this up. And now if I go down to the bottom there, it's blended the edge in there so you don't see it. However, I got some lightning around the edge and that's because the blur went around the edge. Simple fix for that is simply to pull the corners out until that disappears. And I can just do that like this, but I could have done it in other ways as well. But just in this particular example, this works fine. Now then, what if I think the sky, the clouds there are a bit overdone? What if I'd like to change those? Well, the way to do that then, like let's do this with a pixel layer. I could do an ellipse and so on, but I'm going to add a pixel layer here. And I'm going to drag this onto the name. So it goes below that gray line and change the blend mode to erase. And now if I paint on this in any color, so I'm just going to be actually bringing back the clouds as it was. Yeah, maybe I'll, I can just adjustment here, whatever I want. But basically this is a pixel layer, which I can easily get to. I can easily look at and bring this back here and maybe do a little bit around the, where the tree is there like that. If that's too much now, then because if I turn this off and on, I'm just returning to the original one. There's the whole thing before and the whole thing after. I could play with the opacity of this layer, for example, and just go, let's bring in a little bit of that color. And there we go. There we're using shapes and pixel layers as masks. Thank you very much for watching.